rocket does not really affect the camera, but uh, it does affect uh, radio links between the camera and uh, other stations, so uh, it will not affect recorded video, but it will affect live cast because the uh, digital radio link can be interfered with by the rocket. Verification. Uh, actually, uh, we all know the Earth is actually a velociraptor shaped, and I think there was a uh, funny image about that. I might show that to you after the coverage. Stage two lock secured. Rocket lines on internal power. NYB fuel bleed complete. Vehicles in self alarm. Stage 1 and Stage 2, ground healing up secured for flight. FTS announced AFTS is ready for launch. AFTS is ready for launch. DC verify F9 is in startup. Falcon 9 is in startup. Stage verifies, 1 and stage 2 press LD flight. verifies go for launch, go for age of reflight. T minus 30. Side notice we've finally switched to meters per second instead of kilometers per hour. T minus 20. Falcon 9 is configured for flight. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Please don't explode. 1. Liftoff of Falcon 9, the world's first reflight of orbital class rocket. Falcon 9 is clear the tower. We are supersonic, and I'd say this is history.
you can see some of the exhaust uh, seemingly uh, going off to the side that's uh, due to the lower atmospheric pressures. The rocket engines are optimized for uh, sea level pressures, which makes sense because uh, optimizing an engine for sea level and then using it in lower pressure gives you less disadvantage than the other way around. And so now at some altitude when the uh, exhaust leaves the, the nozzle, it still undoes some pressure compared to the environment and so it keeps expanding and pushes itself and each other outward. Stage separation confirmed. We have stage separation and that means that the reused first stage did its job again that's a success And I guess I see a Kerbal reference in the chat with uh, 2,200 meters per second being orbital velocity. The first, separation confirmed. the first stage view uh, now seeing land again is actually the uh, original very first stage that uh, launched and landed almost a year ago. Recovery vessels have AOS. Notice the uh, telemetry is still uh, stage two. The first stage is actually decelerating now. Uh, I wonder why there aren't like two telemetry windows to show both. AOS is just uh, short for acquisition of signal. In the in the uh, landing and reusable Falcon 9, uh, obviously since there has to be fuel left in the first stage, the whole math of uh, rocket system and rocket staging optimization changes a bit, and thus the uh, first stage uh, lasts a bit shorter and the second stage lasts a bit longer than in uh, many other rocket types that are optimized for a uh, discarded first stage. So. Uh, it might seem a bit unexpectedly short. First stage APS has saved. Stage one entry burn has started. And stage one entry burn shut down.
That is, I think, the uh, first time we're actually seeing a visible bit of glow on the grid fence. Yeah. On Stage one is transonic. On the entry, it's now uh, slowing down. Drone ship has AOS. As it uh, descends through the atmosphere, the uh, camera signal is a much harder to keep up than uh, while uh, up in much thinner air. Second stage, AFTS has saved. Stage one landing burn has started. Stage two is approaching orbital velocity and stage one should be uh, approaching and touching down any moment now. Falcon 9 has returned again. Landing operators moving to procedure 11.100 on ECRY and ECF 9 net. It seems the first stage has uh, landed properly again, uh, as I said, and it landed. Uh, video was lost for a short time due to uh, the rocket approaching and radio cutoff, but uh, it landed, and uh, it landed <laughs> pretty much exactly in the center. They're getting more and more precise, uh, and this is definitely history. That's just amazing. We can uh, see the uh, drone ship is uh, slightly tilting, but uh, the rocket is actually much more stable than it looks. Uh, it, it looks like it's uh, really high and thin and uh, about to topple at all times, but uh, once the fuel is burned, the uh, empty first stage actually has a surprisingly low center of gravity. We now have a uh, cruise stage, a uh, cruise phase, and uh, it seems about 20 minutes until uh, second stage ignites again.